Redditors. What's the most unbelievable thing that has ever happened in the existence of mankind and what makes it so hard to grasp the reality that the event occurred? The explosion of the Krakatoa volcano in 1883. Basically everyone within 40 miles had their eardrums ruptured. And the sound traveled around the earth four times. It was also clearly heard for 3000 miles. That's farther than Nick is from LA. Link for the curious. Edit. I should clarify my wording as brought up by some people in the comments. The shockwave traveled four times around the earth. Also here is another link. That a person can fall 33k feet without a parachute and survive. That's higher than MT. Everest. Vesnovilovic. A dude named Tsutomu Yamaguchi survives the Hiroshima bomb despite being very near ground zero. Then already being heavily injured travels to Nagasaki and reports for work already being bandaged. Once again he survives despite being around 3 kilometers from ground zero. And then lives until 2009. Edit. As some commenters pointed out to me he actually passed on the 4th of January, 2010. The moon. We landed. On the moon. The moon. Only 50 years after we built the airplane, we went to the moon. Voyager leaving our solar system. Those probes may outlive humankind. That guy who died for 14 minutes and then went on to win the jackpot on a scratch card twice. One of the times live on TV when he was recreating the moment he'd done it. During the Cuban Missile Crisis a Soviet nuclear submarine was about to launch a missile at a US ship. Two of the three officers on the ship approved but because of the one. They couldn't launch. Had this one man not have disagreed there probably would have been a nuclear holocaust. Vasily Alexandrovich Arkhipov. How about the fact that we now routinely travel farther in a year than our ancestors did in their entire lives. Using ground vessels powered by explosions. Humanity almost went extinct 72,000 years ago due to the MT. Toba eruption. Researchers estimate there were only 4,000 survivors in Africa. The solar storm of 1859. Given its relative recentness, it's probably not even the worst that could happen. And if it were to happen today, the damage would be devastating. Edit. Wikipedia. The solar storm of 1859. That the Mongolian civilization in the 13th century, armed only with horses, arrows, and steel, managed to sweep through and completely conquer the vast majority of the entire Eurasian landmass in only about 10 years, forming the largest contiguous land empire in history. There were over 12 million casualties, a record only surpassed 700 years later in World War II. We figured out that turning millions billions of electronic switches on and off could create a relatively accurate representation of the universe. Like. Go ahead. Try explaining a personal computer of any capacity to someone from 80 years ago. Edit. I am my first true RIP inbox. I like Turing machines as general explanations of how computers work personally. They can at the very least explain away how a processor writes memory. How a GPU writes graphical information to a monitor. ETC. As far as the specific machinations of modern processors, that's a bit more crazy and convoluted. I think that humans invented forge metal. Like, how does that even happen? How do you, without knowing that metal is in ore, that ore is distinct from any old rock, and without knowing you can melt it, decide to stuff it in a hole, with coal or some other fuel, in such a way as to generate the heat to melt it? And then from there also make sure the metal pours out in a usable form. How do you make that series of decisions? It's always seemed so crazy to me. Not really an event. But the size of the universe itself. The speed of light is 300 million meters per second. That basically means light can go around the earth 7 times every second. Now, imagine going at that speed in a straight line for a year. The distance traveled would be around 220 million times the circumference of the Earth. This is a light year. Now, that's already mind-boggling on its own. But that's not the end. Scientists estimate that the diameter of the observable universe is 93 billion light years. That's just the bit we can see it's probably larger than that. Completely blows my mind every time. Anything involving Rasputin. The magic Russian 6 hobo. 
I just find it insane that dinosaurs actually existed. I mean a Tyrannosaurus Rex was 13 feet tall, 45 feet long, 9 tons, had banana sized teeth and a bite force of 12,800 c, had some of the sharpest senses of any animal to ever live, better vision than an eagle, better sense of smell than almost any other animal, extremely acute hearing, and was packed with muscle from head to toe, even compared to other similarly sized theropods. Even its relatively small arms could each lift around 400 pounds. When you describe it like that, it doesn't even sound like a real animal. It sounds like a movie monster. And that thing actually existed. It's fairly believable but still surprises me that in 1942 the Battle of Los Angeles occurred. Basically from a mix of a false report and paranoia the US military fired artillery rounds in the night sky over LA 4 hours at imaginary targets thinking there were Japanese bombers overhead. Wasn't until it started getting light out that they realized there were no enemy planes and they didn't in fact shoot anything down. Some 5 people died of heart attacks that night. Edit. Many believe they were shooting at a UFO. The pictures taken are also are a bit creepy and support that theory some. Edit 2 since some are requesting the photos. Personally I believe it's extremely likely they were just shooting at smoke but it is definitely more exciting to say they were shooting at aliens. D. The way we somehow got through the cold war without getting mutually destroyed has always amazed me. To me it has to be the fall of the Quaresm Empire. The fact that the Mongols would destroy and kill every living creature if a city didn't surrender peacefully to Genghis Khan's army. In a time when they had no machine guns and every Mongol soldier was supposedly given a quota for how many lives they had to claim and filled sacks full of ears to confirm those kills. A lot of crazy stories from that conquest. Like the one where one of the Khan son-in-laws died during one of the sieges and when the Mongols broke finally took it over. They ordered every citizen be brought to the town center to be beheaded in front of the Khan's daughter as revenge while she overlooked every execution lamenting her fallen husband. Or the city where even the rats, dogs, and cats were all ordered to be slaughtered. Another really crazy story that I can remember had to be when a town heard of the Mongols coming. The citizens were divided between surrendering and fighting. When the Mongols got closer and tensions in the city were at their peak between the two parties. They fought amongst themselves and the side that wanted to surrender won the struggle. And when they let the Mongols in. The leader of the army ordered the execution of everyone anyways because you couldn't trust such men. Also when the Mongols would finish destroying a town and move on to the next. They would often send a detachment back to the destroyed cities to kill any people who may have been hiding during the first attack and come upon them as they buried their relatives. The fact that Christdom in the 1230s and Islam as a whole in the 1250s might have been saved all cause a Godari Khan and Monk Khan died of alcoholism. Whenever the great Khan died, all Mongol nobility and generals stopped whatever the hell they were doing and went back to Mongolia to decide the new Khan. Can you imagine if these two didn't die of alcoholism? Can you imagine what a fully Mongol invaded Europe led by Sabute Batu would have done to European history? Or what the course of Islamic history would have looked like if the Mongol war machine of 1255 led by Hiragyu had attacked Mamluk Egypt? World history as we know it might be because two Mongol Khans couldn't hold their ducking liquor and that's just mind boggling. The fact that we exist. The World Wide Web. It represents the pinnacle of human achievement for a variety of reasons. From how it was conceived to how it still works. The man who tried to assassinate Andrew Jackson had two different pistols jam. If there are alternate realities, we live in one that had a 1 in 100,000 chance of existing. Ted Cruz jokes aside, the Zodiac Killer still fascinates me. The fact that somebody was able to completely elude law enforcement to the point there are no leads to the killer's identity 50 years later is honestly amazing. You have more navigational power in your pocket than any ship to traverse the oceans until about 30 years ago or so. While the Wild West era was going on, New York City had electric lights. Edit. To slightly clarify, the Wild West era involving trains. Which is what most people tend to think of as that time. George Washington peacefully transferring power was, almost, unprecedented. Edit. Yes. Not completely unprecedented. Okay. Edit. I will knock out the next ducker who dares to make the unprecedented pun. 
The thing about one in six people is related to Genghis Khan. He is the only person that, if he was still alive today, can say to almost anyone that he fuked her mom over the internet. Edit. I don't know the exact number and one in six might be wrong. I just pulled it from memory, but I know it's a lot of people. The point is that he can say he fucked Zxdigbic 69xx's mother's mother's father's mother's father's father's mother confidently over Xbox Live. I think those gang abuse cases. How does one even find like another 16 rapists to join in to abuse a deaf kid? Did this red get invaded by Mongols? Given the pickup line my dad supposedly used. My birth. Edit. Since you guys asked. The line was so when we going out, you've got to admit, it's ballsy. The invention of music. A universal system and language of something so simple yet that holds so much power. Music has some serious power and it uses math like the, the rest of the universe but affects us in a totally different way than most anything. Learning to contain and control energy. Starting with the very first man-made fire. Yersinia pestis. More commonly known as the Black Death. Killed something north of 75 million people in the mid 14th century. This was something like one quarter and one half of the entire human race at the time. Like all cataclysms. It disproportionately affected the poor. Resulting in a famine in following years because there was no one to work the fields. Furthermore. The demand for labor meant that skilled peasants had more access to money and education for their kids. The worst pandemic in history directly led to the emergence of the middle class. That two of the authors of the Declaration of Independence, John Adams and Thomas Jefferson, died on the exact same day, four hours apart and that day was the 4th of July, 1826, the 50th anniversary of the signing of the Declaration. Getting rid of smallpox forever, a disease that killed probably a billion people through history, Gone forever through mass vaccination. It. Limited to mankind only huh. While I think getting to the moon is a huge accomplishment. I'd like to give a shout out to electricity. Like we harness this naturally occurring phenomenon to light the darkness. Create new revolutionary forms of entertainment. Art. Communications. And the spread of information. Humanity is old as dark. But we have had electricity for a blink of an eye compared to that. If we don't blow ourselves to hell soon, I think we can bring a new age we've never seen before. Like four generations ago, give or take, didn't have any of the electricity, or electricity driven technology we have today. My grandfather, in his 80s now, probably knew a handful of old folks who didn't have it. Like that kind of old world lifestyle is within second hand accounts. It's pretty wild, did it, as a lot of people are pointing out. Even two generations ago, areas in the US didn't have electricity. Also important to point out, that many places around the world still don't have it either. I was just kind referring to the US, when I wrote this originally. The existence of paper currency. We somehow managed to make most of the people on the planet think that something has a certain worth, just because someone said so. The moon is the exact diameter and the exact distance from the earth to appear exactly the same size as the sun. This gives us eclipses in which the moon perfectly covers the sun. No more. No less. As vast as the universe is. What are the odds of finding another planet where this is true? Also, since the earth's distance to the moon and sun vary, sometimes they appear to be slightly different sizes. But only slightly. Suicide Squad is an Oscar winning movie. The Holocaust for obvious reasons. Tobar Catastrophe Theory, which says 75,000 years ago a volcano caused human population to drop to several thousand. We are all children of those survivors. One time I won an argument with my girlfriend. Scientifically, how they theorize life on Earth was formed. Currently, the most plausible theory is that billions of years of superstorms eventually unintentionally electrified atoms into perpetuating molecules aka cells, thus beginning life on Earth. As you can imagine, this event even in the time span given would be like winning the lottery and then some, an astronomically unlikely event, but one necessary to start everything we know as life on this planet. 
that people blow tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars on Scientology and are also okay with their children signing a billion year contract with them. I guess not so much that there are people that do it but the fact that there are so many brings to mind a great quote by George Cullen. Think of how stupid the average person is and realize half of them are stupider than that. Okay this may seem like a joke but I think about this every year or so. The amount of people that had to duck each other so we could be here. Can you imagine? Yeah. Remember th Egypt times with pharaohs and it? You had family somewhere in those times. World War 1? Family. Renaissance? Family. Castles and kings and its? Family. Remember cave people? Yeah they ducked each other for you to be here. Imagine the amount of combinations that happened so you could be here. Imagine all the times where people almost never ducked. Imagine all the times that someone ducked other person first before setting up with your Greek's 10,000 grandfather. It blows my mind. The thousands and thousands of years that people had to end up having a baby together so you could be here. I wonder how many of us are related now. It's amazing to me. Wish the animus was real honestly. Screens. How the heck did people build a little flat piece of glass that projects stuff? And on top of that, making touch screens. It's just so bizarre. That's some of the Native American Apache warriors who broke out with Geronimo and fought a guerrilla war against the US Army were still alive to see the US drop Castle Bravo, the most powerful nuke the US ever tested. We tricked sand into doing complex stuff really fast for us, and now the sand is becoming intelligent. We sent a camera to Mars to orbit it and send us back information. The study of another planetary mass. Atmospheric conditions. ETC. Simply incredible. Here eyes. Then we sent another vessel to Mars with the Phoenix lander on board and timed its arrival perfectly. Why perfectly you ask? Because it was so ducking perfectly timed that the camera in orbit around Mars was able to snap photographs of the Phoenix lander descending and deploying its parachutes on another Mathurda King planet. That's some crazy level of hold my beer physics and mathematics it right there. When the British took Washington DC in the war of 1812 they burned the White House. The next day they were going to burn the House of Congress. The clouds began to swirl and the winds kicked up. A tornado formed in the center of the city and headed straight for the British on Capitol Hill. The twister ripped buildings from their foundations and trees up by the roots. British cannons were tossed around by the winds. Several British troops were killed by falling structures and flying debris. Tornadoes are exceptionally rare in DC. We transformed the mighty wolf into a Panamanian. Boy let me tell you we went to the ducking moon with 4 kilobits of memory. That a ducking dude sent a car from his car company to Mars in a rocket from his rocket company. The fact that, Australia lost a war against emus. On Friday. The 3rd of August in the year 2018. Millions of people believe that the earth is flat and the moon is a projection. The discovery of the CMB cold spot in 2004. A thing in space that's a lot colder than it's supposed to be and the theory that it's a glitch made by the probe that's observed it has been knocked out by another satellite that's seen it in 2013. In 2015 it was confirmed to be highly improbable to be avoid. The most popular. And only popular remaining theory is that another universe collided with ours, leaving an imprint. TL. DR the first possible proof of multiple universes. Edit. Apparently people are really intrigued by this so I'm going to recommend you all check out the CMB Cold Spots Wikipedia page. It's really basic in exploring the possibility, but it's a starter. Reminder, both the glitch and void theories have been crossed out. Let's see what else you think it could be. Not something that has happened, yet, but the fact that mankind has the ability to cause a mass extinction event affecting the entire planet in just a moment's notice by splitting a few atoms. The Haitian Revolution that, 1, completely eradicated their overlord's presence, 2, defeated three European powers set on reconquering them multiple times, 3, lost one of their premier founding fathers and still was successful, 4, did this during the era of Napoleon. Aztecs had better cities, infrastructure, beauty, etc. than most European cities at that time. We were once sperm, like legit sperm. 
that we flew humans to the freaking moon on top of that was essentially a great be ducking firework. I mean intellectually I understand what's going on with the physics but I still don't quite believe that has actually worked and we actually managed to do that. And do it on what is now 50 or 60 year old technology. That The Revenant is based on a true story. Leo DiCaprio is a great actor. But a guy actually survived that. Roanoke. Everybody knows they died but do we really know what happened? The US winning the Revolutionary War. The Tungu Sky event. An asteroid explodes over a remote area in Russia, and is considered the largest impact event on Earth. Yet there was no crater. Just leveled trees. Yet no one died. At least that we know of. What makes it unbelievable is that it had x1000 the power of the bomb dropped on Hiroshima, and could have caused extinction if it hit. But it didn't. It just blew up in the sky and leveled part of a forest. In all mankind's existence. The most unbelievable and mind-blowing event occurred in 1997, when The Undertaker threw mankind from the top of the cage in Hell in a Cell. Religion. Whether you are religious or not, masses coming together under an ideology and it keeping it alive for thousands of years is pretty remarkable. The Internet. What is the Internet? I honestly could not explain how it was created and how it works. But even further due to said technology, I have seen more naked women than all of my previous ancestors combined. That there have been 5 mass extinctions where 99.9% .9 of all life on earth has died out. Each time only around 0.1% of life became the staple for the next series of genomes for everything. Oh and the fact that scientifically, we're currently at the beginning of the 6th extinction. How we made rocks to accept 1s and 0s. Not mankind. Sharkind. How the duck do saw knows sharks exist. How the duck does that happen? You guys are listing some great things but my 8 year old daughter didn't like Frozen. That humans are basically abusing bugs in the physics engine to their advantage. Your fridge changes gas pressure to get cold for example. Your computer is making billions of calculations a second from on and off switches. I'm not even gonna try to explain nuclear power. The Spanish Inquisition. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. The Big Bang. And even more, I can't say time here. But the time, before the Big Bang. I mean a time with no time or space. That just freaks me out on so many levels. World War 1 was 100 fold worse than anything you were ever taught about in school. It was a horrible hell on earth that turned parts of Europe into toxic, inhospitable landscapes. More people died in the first month of World War 1 than would die in the first 8 months of World War 2. Entire villages men and teenagers were wiped out in single days of battle. Bodies couldn't be moved out of trenches without the mover being shot and killed so sometimes people who died would remain in the trenches for more than a year decaying, and soldiers had to live with that. It was just ducking awful. Look up a detailed history of the Battle of Verdun. Verdun may have been the most horrific battle in the history of warfare. In previous European wars, maybe 15,000-30,000 people total would die during the course. In World War 1, 70,000 died in the first week. This would be a wonderful thread to read while high, 